Ah, horror games. Love-hate relationship. In addition to grotesque splatter and raw violence, the team from Blooper further opened the door to a new genre, inspired by PT. Say hi to psychological horror games and delve into layers of fear. 2023 edition. Blooper and Anshar Studios have joined forces to deliver the latest installment in the series. But what is it exactly? A remake? A sequel? It's both. And in any case, a true horror blast, absolutely benefiting from the strength of Unreal Engine 5. What can the latest part deliver and how does it perform? Let's talk about that in our Layers of Fear review. To clear up the confusion right up front, LOF brings the acclaimed franchise to a gigantic conclusion. It ties together the series' first two installments, including their DLCs, and also delivers a new epilogue. What? Whoa, 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 hey, 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 hey. Uh, sounds brilliant, but does this balancing act work? In the new part, we slip into the role of a writer, who has settled in an abandoned lighthouse to draw inspiration for his latest work. While we experience both games' stories as a single connected campaign, the writer's new line is embedded serving as a connecting element. On top of that, this concentrated horror spectacle is developed in UE5, featuring ray tracing and high display resolutions. Layers of Fear is sometimes mockingly called a spooky walking simulator, because in this series we must mainly strive through rooms and corridors, exploring and discovering them piece by piece. Admittedly, that's all you can do. But there is no boredom at all, because we have to constantly interact with the surroundings, pick up objects and can never be sure what lies around the next corner. cool if you guys wouldn't tell people I scream like that. Jump scares at its best. Layers of Fear knows how to keep us on our toes and maintain a constant feeling of insecurity. The name says it all. And that makes the franchise so high quality in that regard. The creepiness mainly occurs in our heads and the game is the trigger. The remake impresses with its graphics, but many game segments remain unchanged despite the visual upgrade. A significant gameplay change is the new lantern mechanic that allows us to illuminate at areas, reveal secrets and keep enemies at bay. This feature is a valuable addition to the game, but to take the old titles to a new level requires more than a lantern that wards off enemies. The second part uses this mechanic even more coherently with a flashlight. If we look at Layers of Fear holistically on the narrative level, the game can provide frustration in places besides the scary interludes. We are immersed in a complex, tangled mosaic full of stories and puzzles that revolve around the tortured souls of the artists. We live through their manias and psychic thought loops manifesting in changing creepy environments, leaving us much more with questions than it enlightens us. The game quickly reveals a metaphor. The creative mind always harbors a wild and unpleasant dark place. We find notes and hear voiceovers telling us to create is to reach into chaos, or great art carries a heavy cost. We have our problems with that view. It's not the art that's the problem. Problem. Instead, isn't it the people themselves? I needed to remove the flesh from the bone. In the added storylines, writer and musician, we learn more about the Red Queen, who is said to be responsible for the unhappiness of artists because she forces them to strive for unattainable perfection. This is a pretty one-dimensional solution that doesn't include the individual character as a possible cause. Nonetheless, the Layers of Fear remake impressively ties together the series' stories with an elegant arc and breathes even more conviction into the game with its new Unreal Engine 5 graphics. But it doesn't give us an entirely new LOF experience. Still, with this installment, we get the definitive way to play through the award-winning psychedelic horror from 2016 to 2019 in one go and a new coat of paint. That was our brief Layers of Fear review. Thank you for watching. What are your thoughts on this game? We're looking forward to your comment. If you like or dislike this video, show it with your thumb. Expect more videos soon and for more content updates, check out our website yourgames.tv and follow us on Twitter at yourgtv. See you in the next one, ballers.